Okay guys, so we're going to go straight into this uh, project. Uh, this originally started as just a miniature model of what will eventually be a full size version of a Hobbit uh, playhouse for my daughter in the uh, in the back garden. But uh, it as I said it started off as a miniature model and it just expanded from there really. So first of all I just wanted to get the base of the um, Hobbit house itself. Now um, I made this in the same way I'm going to be making the full size version. So I did the uh, the base out of like timber um, struts. I'm going to be using three by two timber when it comes to the full size version. Um, I'm, I'm basically just making a uh, box uh, out of the t out of the wooden sticks. And uh, as you can see there, <coughs> I then made a template out of card for the sides. And using that template. I uh, drew around that onto some 2mm ply. Now, that, uh, when I do the full size version, I'll be using 6mm ply and I'll actually be using 2mm ply for the flooring. Uh, but I used 2mm ply for the sides on this um, miniature model, and uh, once that was on, I simply glued them to the sides of the uh, box. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly uh, run through where I'm up to with this project at the moment. So obviously this is the Hobbit, uh, model Hobbit house that I'm building. And I uh, originally wanted to build this the same way as I'm going to be building the full size version uh, playhouse for my daughter. And that is why I have made the um, timber box. Now when I make this in uh, full size I will be using uh, 3x2 timbers. And I wanted to try and make this the same way. So I, I got it in my head for when I built make the full size one, but uh, I've already made a little mistake as you can see. Uh, these were where the original windows were going to be, and I was going to have two on the other side as well. But when I came to cutting out the holes for the door and the windows, um, I'd spun it around and drilled them out in the wrong place, and I managed to drill them out right where the uprights go. So I had to saw them off and just glue it all into place um, using wood glue. So when it comes to doing the big version, the full size version, obviously I'll have to make sure I position the windows in the correct place. So the essentially the actual way that I've uh, built this uh, is going to be exactly the same in the full size version. Uh, again, I'll be having the timbers coming out to the edge of the Hobbit tool itself and then as I've done with this one I'll be using timber struts across the bottom uh, almost like a, a timber strut uh, bed frame and they'll be going across the bottom like they have here and then I'll be putting um, two, uh, two mil ply board using two mil ply for the actual flooring and it's, I've actually used two mil ply for the actual um, for this, this model I've used 2mm plywood for the actual sides but for the flooring for this I've got to just use some balsa wood so this is where we're up to the main frame of the Hobbit hole itself is done and I was originally going to put a, a roof over the top and stick it into place but um, since then I've actually decided I'm going to um, do a lot more detail inside the Hobbit house itself. Like I said, I was originally just going to probably do a little uh, interior design type thing in the middle there. So when you open the door, you can see inside. But this is going to be uh, a full size, oh, sorry, a fully um, interior design for the inside, and you'll be able to set the uh, roof off, and you'll be able to see table, chairs, um, and everything. So that is going to be the inside, it's going to be fully painted. This is uh, some plywood left over that I've got from work, that's why it's dirty. Um, but it will be painted and um, like I say, uh, I'm even going to be doing some little tiny uh, picture frames on the wall with pictures of uh, people. So this is only, it looks very rough and ready at the moment but it will be in a lot more detail. So this is the base I'm using, again it's just a bit of uh, 2 mil ply, that, that's the off cut there, so I've sanded the bottom down so it's all nice and flat with the t with the timbers underneath there and with the edge of the wall, so I'm going to be 
plastering that all with wood glue and sticking it to the base and again there's going to be a lot of detail on the outside as well I'm going to have the path leading out there it's going to have a little bench on this side possibly and then it's going to have a little vegetable vegetable garden on this side it's going to be a lot of foliage a lot of grass uh, there's going to be a picket fence going around the outside as well so this is where we're up to and the next step is to glue the house itself to the base Okay, to glue the uh, Hobbit house onto the base, I'm using Gorilla PVA glue. Uh, I'm gluing, uh, putting glue onto all the wooden slats, and um, then I will place it in, in place onto the base and apply some uh, weight on top until the glue is dried. I've put wood glue on the underside of the house itself and I've put it onto the base and I've just weighed it down with some glasses and my uh, couple of cases with tools in them. So I'm just going to leave that to dry and then we can go and start with the detail. So I've just been to my local Hobbycraft store and I bought a few items that I'm going to be using on the Hobbit house. The first thing is the uh, fake grass that I'm going to be using for the roof and in front of the house. Secondly is a pot of stones that I'm going to be using for the path. Third is some uh, tree bark, now I'm not sure if this is real or fake tree bark but I'm going to be using this for the trim along the top of the roof, uh, above the windows and above the door just to give it uh, a bit of a, a natural look. Fourth is some fake moss that I'm going to be putting along the bottom of the fence when it's put in place and along the top of the roof. And then finally there's uh, some foam sheets uh, that I'm going to be using for the flooring. So as you can see I've gone ahead and glued the grass down to the front of the uh, house and uh, I've also uh, Put, cut a strip for the roof and I've glued that to uh, the back of some uh, cardboard that I've folded into the shape of the roof so it sits nicely. So next I thought about furniture for the inside of the Hobbit house and I went onto eBay and you can actually buy flat pack dolls house furniture. This comes in a sheet of uh, balsa wood, you pop all the bits out and put them together. Okay, so I've done quite a bit of work on this uh, little Hobbit house at the moment, so I'm going to go take you through it. So, uh, I've started on the right hand side, I'm going to be going through the left hand side, showing you how I do it, but quickly to just say, so these are just some twigs I've cut off the garden, uh, the tree in the back garden. Underneath, um, it's screwed in underneath through the 2mm board that's, that's been used as the bottom. So I used a thin drill bit drilled into the bottom of the twig and uh, drilled a hole into the bottom of the 2mm ply and then screwed straight through and these are solid. Then I got some uh, thin uh, branches that I'm intertwining around the thicker twigs and that's how I'm, how I'm going to be making the uh, fence. Again I need, still need to do the left hand side. Uh, bought a packet of uh, lollipop sticks that you can get from your know, uh, craft store and it took a few attempts to get this right because uh, they are quite, quite easily split when you're trying to cut them but um, I made the door out of lollipop sticks give it a paint and I just need a hinge now to hinge it into place and that will open and close um, also I've done a veg garden got some carrots off eBay that's actual real soil there that I put in there then I've got this little bit of moss here that I'm going to use as a tomato plant. Again, I've got some small tomatoes coming, they'll just super glue them onto the moss there, and that'll be a little tomato plant in the corner. I've gone ahead and give it a, another cone to paint on the outsides because it, it was still looking a bit dreary, so that's nice, nice bright yellow. Then moving in onto the inside, uh, give it an orange background, and everything's been painted brown, as in to give it like a oak effect. I've started putting some of the 
interior bits in as well so you've got the fruit in the bowl there cheese in on the shelf moving into the bedroom now eventually I will put a door into the middle there and expand out but that's how it looks at the moment and then I went ahead and bought this Hobbit this is supposed to be uh, Bilbo Baggins young Bilbo Baggins but to be completely honest it looks more like Sam and uh, I actually started making this without any reference to what size or scale it was going to be and I've been pretty lucky the size and scale that I did is actually perfect size for the so these are 1 12 scale uh, carrots and different vegetables and it's for obviously uh, a doll's house and then I bought the I think this is 3 inches or 2.5 inches 3 inches tall figure which sits perfectly in the Hobbit house itself so originally this just started out as a, as a prototype for the uh, full size version that I'm going to be doing for my daughter and it's just really expanded from there really, I've had so much fun doing it So to do the uprights for the uh, fence I took some thick twigs off the branches in the back garden and then got a thin drill bit and drilled into the bottom of the uh, twig. This is so that the screw can then screw into it. I then drilled a hole into the bottom of the two mil ply and placed the screw underneath using a fillet screwdriver, screwed through the hole in the two mil ply and screwed into the twig. Uh, so originally this was where the table would go with all the vegetables on but I'm going, instead I'm going to expand the vegetable garden up to about here and I'll just have the uh, table on the grass on the back with all the vegetables on. That way I can um, include more different vegetables that will be growing in the garden. And as you can see the fence is now finished and we use some of the fake moss along the bottom of the fence just to help blend it into the into the base itself. And then I got some fake uh, plastic white flowers off eBay and I've just intertwined them along the top of the fence line. So the last touch for the fence was to create a gate and I've I got some more twigs and cut them all to the same height and the width of the opening for the gate and then I took a strip of the um, bark, put some glue on and then glued it diagonally across them and then I'm going to create a hinge to hinge it to the twig. So guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and it's time for the final reveal.